What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Aska. Before we get into today's episode, we have an update. Let's go take a look at that. Hey, this is Evil One coming to you from the future. There was just a, an announcement on the official Discord for this game that the update we were expecting has not been released. Apparently there are some bugs or something, and it's been delayed. So let's just get back into uh, this episode, and we will continue on perhaps before the update. I kind of want to use some of the things that uh, were listed in the update. Everything being what it is, I really enjoy playing this game, and I can't stand to wait anymore. So we're just going to continue on, and we'll get the update when we get the update. Let's head back to the to the episode. All right, good stuff coming. However, this is actually being recorded before the update. So this episode won't be showing off some of those features that we just looked at in that update. So in this episode, we got trouble coming. Let's take a look really quick here, pull up the UI. As you can see right up here, right underneath the map, invasion starting in 14 days. That just dropped on us. Uh, also, take a look, we have 17 villagers now. In fact, one of them just arrived. And I'm slowly building up my militia, my guard force, in anticipation of this invasion that is coming. So, I am running this Eye of Odin nonstop. And I'm looking for warriors. We'll take Greta here. Confirm. And we'll drop the rest of this. Oh, we need to go get more. Oh, drop that. There we go. Okay, so let's pull this up because this guy just arrived. We'll take a look at his stats. So he's cold resistance, rain dancer, iron stomach. He's make a good warrior. He's got nah, he's got the green thumb. He's going to make a good farmer. I would make him a warrior, but he needs to be assigned to the farm, which is fine. So we'll come out over here to the farm, and we will assign him there. Sign. Now, this person here, she was my farmer. I'm going to dismiss her because I thought it said that she was good with... Uh... Am I looking at the wrong person? What's going on here? Yeah, this. Overall skill with ranged weapons. So I want to assign her to my um, my guard force here. Confirm. We'll get Vlad Vladimir Mar Vladimir a home here in just a second. First, let me go down here and assign this girl to this. There we go. Assign. She can patrol to her heart's content. Let's see here. What are, are her hours? Let's take a look at that really quick. Uh, can I do it from this menu? Yeah. Perfect. Daytime. Same, same hours as she was doing when she was farming. I also have, um, we have the Night Watch, we have Day Builder, and this is 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. day. Kind of the same thing, but they're off by like an hour or something. Just so we're not, not everybody's waking up at the same time, kind of a thing. That was my thought process anyway. Okay. So she is on that task. Take a drink of water here. I'm getting a little thirsty. We now have archery again. And this one here, let me check this one because I just realized something. Check the task. Yeah, that's what I thought. I checked this, but I didn't hit the save button. There we go. So now we have um, a day and a night uh, patrol. This is interesting. I just found this one. What is this? Skirmisher wields a short weapon one-handed weapon and shield two-handed weapon ooh I like the two-handed weapon we're gonna go with the two-handed weapon 
Um, well. I carry a two-handed weapon. I didn't realize we could do this. This is awesome. Let's see here. Bruiser. Well, Warrior is a one-handed weapon with a shield. Skirmisher is just a one-handed weapon. And a Bruiser is a two-handed weapon. So, actually, I'm going to do... I want them to carry shields. There we go. We'll make them warriors. But that means we have to get one-handed weapons and shields, like, really soon. So I do have somebody assigned to this workstation now. And I actually have somebody assigned over here making um, the iron bloom for my blacksmith. In fact, here's a bunch of iron ore we can put in here. Just so he has it. We'll dump off the rest. Went and got a bunch of that iron ore. We also have a bunch of coal here. I just made this. I'm hoping that they will come and just take from it. I think they did that last time. I don't have to put it in the in the storage here. And yeah, so I need to tell him to now make a bunch more here. We want one-handed weapons. Let's go down here. Crude iron sword. Make that. Create. Make two of them. Make that your top priority. There we go. And we're going to add a, uh, a shield as well. What kind of shield here? I have not made. It's a tower shield. I have not made a shield before. Crude... Norman shield. Looks like base damage. Reinforced heater shield. Hmm. I want good durability and good base damage. 800, 600, 880. I like this one. It's got the most durability, it looks like, out of all of them. What's it gonna take? Leather scraps, wood shaft, iron plate. We can't make iron plate yet. I don't think we can. Let's take a look. Can we make iron plate? Yes, we can. So, we will do that one then. Hopefully, we can do that one. We will find out. Add task. I want... Which one was it now? <laughs> yeah, this one right here. Great. All right. Oh, I want to put that at the top. Let's come back down here. It's going to be defaulted to the bottom. I wish I could just... Oh, I can. <laughs> it's like, I, I wish I could just click and drag it up there, but... Um, yeah, right on. Cool. So, he'll get busy working on that. I also have a worker in the... Um, in here. Uh, and the warehouse. Ooh, that's done. Why didn't she just build it? She might, may not have a hammer. I do have a couple of... I'm building a cart here, too. Um, sorry, like, so many squirrel moments. I also built this market, but all it is is, like, a storage for carts or something, and I have to assign a worker, or... I'm not sure. Here, let's go in here and take a look. So, in order to do anything, we have to assign a worker. I don't want to do that. But we can assign vehicles for the villagers to use which is great but how do I do that like they're not listed here so I'm not 100% sure on how this is supposed to work but like this is storage so and that's what I was kind of dealing with when I saw that invasion starting now in 13 days which is not good let me get a drink of water so Anyway, yeah, I do have a worker assigned to, to the warehouse. He runs around and collects things and puts it in here. And I have a builder coming in and building things, so that's great. Nobody's allowed to take stuff out of here unless they need to. Same with the gatherer's hut. I do have a gatherer now working. And Vladimir is my farmer. 
Why are you awake? <laughs> oh, he's homeless still. I haven't given him a place to sleep. Let's go take care of him really quick. So all these huts are full. All these cottages are full. Um, this one has got a bunch of beds in it. And they're full. This one is full too, but take a look. This one only has six beds in it. And if I come here and I open up the menu, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can assign a seven. It's only got six beds. So I'm going to assign them to this one. This one has three beds. Looks like they're all full. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to build some more beds here real soon. This one... Oh. That was a tough winner. Oh, there's another one. That was a very tough winner. Looks like we got some tools here. Hopefully they'll come and pick these up if they need them. This has got two beds. I don't think anybody's assigned here. No. So we're going to assign him there. Perfect. Speaking of the farmer, let's go drop some compost. As soon as I drop this compost, they come and take it. The farmers. That's funny every time. So, and I can't... Uh... Oops. All right, looks like we got Greta just appeared. That's great. Um, so, it, there was an inventory. Where's the inventory? Oh, storage. Here we go. So, I can't add more than one. So, I can't just sit here and spam the, the compost to get the good compost. Okay, Greta. What was I going to do with Greta? Let's pull her up really quick. See what her abilities are. Yeah, she is going to be a, another warrior. We can't have too many of those at this point, I fear. Assign workers. Oh, where'd she go? Here she is. Assign. And I'm going to make her a... Oh, let's just make her keep her a bruiser. She can use that two-handed weapon. And I will put her on at night as well. So we'll open up the menu again. And find her. Probably should have done this before. Actually, it'd probably be easier to find her in here. Sign workers. Yeah, here she is right here. Adjust her hours. Load. And I want her on the night watch. Confirm. There we go. So... They get a couple hours at, at night to rest. And actually, I'm going to adjust this one just a little bit here. We're going to go like this. And we're going to give you a little overlap like that. There we go. That way they are not waking up at the same time and doing the same patrol at the same time, going around, around, around. So to kind of offset a little bit on their schedule. Perfect. And let's give her a place to stay as well. We also need to start need we also need to start building some new beds in these in these cottages. That's gonna be a, a new priority here, I think. Oh well, I don't need to go in there. Sign. There you go, Greta. All right. There's Helga. And as you can see here, it's still getting kind of cold. In fact, when it, we just had a storm right before I started the recording, and it was still dipping down below freezing. We didn't lose anybody, but it was kind of cold, and that's why I'm still wearing the uh, winter outfit. And I'll probably take it off. I don't know if I get over hot or anything. Um, so I can store my outfit in here on this clothing rack right here in my house. So 
Speaking of houses, though, and I just mentioned it, let us build some more beds. Yeah, all these tools. Hopefully they come and get these tools. So we'll come in here. We'll go to the furniture. We'll go to a thatched bed. Build. Plop that down there. I can just simply push the L key. Uh, we'll put that one there. I'm not going to do eight. We'll just do six per. I think that keeping this open to get to the fireplace is a very good thing. So we'll have them start building on those. Coming in here too, I do see that I actually have two builders. And I'm not sure why. Astrid is kind of my big builder. Or my main builder, rather. Big builder. Uh, but this one, I don't remember what I was going to do with her. So let's take a look. It's nap time. She's builder. She's getting hungry. And she is... Oh, I remember now what I was going to do. I am going to build a wall. And so I decided to keep her on as a builder to help build the wall. And once it becomes daylight, we'll start working on that as well. Get a drink of water. And, yeah. Oh, I'm starting to get a little hungry, too, so let's go in here. Get some food. Oh, there's no food. That's all right. Because we can actually go foraging for food now, which is not a, a bad deal at all. Um, but there's lots to, lots to build. We have a, a lot to do here. Uh, and actually, let, that's a... I just thought of something else. Um, I'm going to make... They're on this kind of the same schedule. You can kind of see the little offset. I'm going to change her to a nighttime. We'll put it on night watch. There we go. That way she is building during the night. And we can knock these projects out uh, faster. So we'll hit the apply button. There we go. Now she should be waking up. And maintaining fires and, and that sort of thing at night. I think having two builders doing that is great. Uh, there's a... Hello. There she is right there. Going to work. I also need to get... Oh, I need to get another person coming. Let's go get some Uten blood here. I've been kind of going out in different directions. So if you take a look at the map... I went way up north here and found a bunch up here. So this time, I'm going to head... I went down south here, too. I'm going to head kind of this direction and look for some mutant blood on the way there. And it is dark. I do apologize. YouTube does make everything so much darker than it actually is for me. And it's actually pretty dark for me, too. So I'm going to keep hitting this button using my Viking Vision. I'll hopefully keep things a little bit more illuminated. I could build a torch. But I don't want it to stop. I'll be back for too long here. Okay, here's some mutant blood right here. Alright. I'll find some more. Oh, here's something to eat. If I can get it. There we go. Right there. Right, we got some garlic. Here's some berries. Looking around for Uten blood. Some more berries. I am passing up the flax this time. It's because we do have uh, gatherers. They need stuff to gather, and um, we have a lot of rope, which is great. And I'm going to drop these seeds because I don't want them to take up too much space. There we go. Get my hunger levels back up. Heading towards my waypoint. Just looking for Uten blood here. There's some. 
There's a couple of them back here. Perfect. Getting blood in the area. Got some here. We're gonna drop these seeds just because we don't need them right now. There we go. And continue looking for more heading towards my marker. Oh, I see some over here. Let's go up here and take a look first. I see it way over over there in the distance. Wanna see if there's any over here by my marker. Make sure we are actually exploring some of the map as well. And what is that? What is this? Like, I'm... I'm pulling up my weapon here. <laughs> it's because I don't know what I just stumbled upon here. It's a weird rock formation. What is this? Is this a, is this like a thing? These look like gargoyles almost, you know, like little uh, statues or something. I, oh, oh, what is it? What is this? It's like an altar with some mutant blood. <gasps> I don't know if I want to take that mutant blood. <laughs> I'm going to take. Okay. What is this? <laughs> okay, well, there's Uten blood all the way around here, so let us harvest some of it here. I'm wondering... I don't know what this is. I, I'm, ho I'm thinking maybe this is like where the portal is for the invasion. You know what? I'm going to mark it. Just in case that's the case. If that makes sense. I need to I need to find a way of actually marking it, marking it like permanently and not just with my marker. If that's the portal where the invasion's gonna come from, I'll meet them out here. So they don't get close to my village to wreck my village. That's kinda what I was thinking anyway. I don't know. Get three more. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to. Well, shoot. Just do it. We get three more here, and then we'll head back. If one is laying on the ground, then uh, we'll figure it out. I just don't like wasting mutant blood. Like, I won't see it again if I have to leave one leg on the ground here. All right, cool. We, we got two for that. So now we should be, f like, full of mutant blood. Time to head back to camp. And hopefully remember where this is at. It's going to be a long time for that marker to be sitting there. What can I do to remember where it is? I'm going to leave the marker there for now until I need to move my marker again. And then we'll figure that out later. Oh, climb. There we go. Holy cow, we were a long ways away. It's coming back into camp now. We'll get the I have Odin fired up. Activate. I want the retired bowman. What is that? Craftsman. Nice. We'll drop this mutant blood here. Perfect. 
Look at it all. Awesome. Okay, I need to fill up my water. I'm not going to take it from there, though. I'll take it from up here. So my cook doesn't have very far to go. Get a drink. There we go. Alright. Check on everybody. One of my villagers is suffering. Uh-oh. Suffering. Who? Why? Why are you suffering? Water. And food. Uh-oh. I'm gonna find something to give her right now. Gotta be something around here. Oh, my gatherer is doing a really good job. <laughs> I gotta find some sort of food. I just ate ate some food, and I feel bad about it. Well, I'm gonna... I guess I can rob it from the... Come on, run. There we go. From the gatherer's hut. There we go. Oh, there's nothing there. And my gatherer's not doing a great job. Okay, now where are you at? Oh! Okay, she found something to eat. I'm going to... Who is this? Tordson. I need to see you. She got something to drink. Looks like she got something to eat. She's happy. Okay. I'll just put this back so other people can get stuff, stuff to eat. I'm going to check on something in here to see if my... Alright, he is going down and getting the fish. I built this fish rack in here. I was wondering if my fisherman was still catching fish. Let's head down there, though, to see what else she is possibly catching. It's been a while since we've been down this way. You need berry bait, fish bait. Okay, you need, like, all the baits. Allows you to fish out at sea. We will keep that in the back of our mind. Let's see here. I can't add a task. She's just catching sea bass at the time. Okay, so what do you need to make... What do you need to make your baits? You need raw fish meat. You need berries. And you need raw red meat. Okay. Well. I mean, she could probably just... Get that all of herself. <laughs> I mean, it's not very hard to make all that stuff, right? Does need berries, though. Let's get her some berries. We, we can probably find berries pretty quickly, quickly and easily. Like right here. Find a couple more here and we'll give her some berries. And she can use that for bait. Whoa. What is this? <laughs> I'm out looking for berries and I've stumbled across this. I wonder if this is the portal. This has got to be the portal. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Um, where are we exactly? We're like really close to our... Right next to this food forging marker. <laughs> Wow. Can I go the other way? Probably like instant death. Nope, I just walk right through it. Well, here's where the steps are. 
go this way. Okay. Well. I think I figured out where the uh, invasion is going to be coming from. <laughs> it's all lit up. That's crazy. Alright, i got to find some berries. And I'm not finding any more berries, so let's go give what we have to our fisherman. So she can continue to catch fish. And one thing I'm noticing that we don't have thatch. We don't have thatch yet. Oh, there we go. We have survived for 18 days. Yeah, I'm going to give you berries. There you go. I didn't find very many, but... And you ate them. <laughs> okay, well, figure it out. I got other things to worry about, and fish right now is not one of those things. So, coming up on daylight, we're going to start now, especially we know where the uh, invasion is going to be coming from. We need to start talking about building a wall. What's this? What do you need? We didn't find any wood shaft. Okay, well, the, we do have a carpenter assigned to the carpentry shop. He just hasn't started his day yet. We do have materials in here for him. But yeah, no wood shafts there. So, hi. Yes, I know you need, uh, you need stuff to build with. Okay, so we know that the invasion is coming from, I believe, over this way. Let's see. It was right here. Is that marker right there? So let's we're gonna highlight that. We're gonna move our move our thing over there. It was not coming from over here. So let's just double check that really quick. Because this is where we're gonna start building the uh, the wall. We have our what I'm calling the tree of life. This is a really awesome tree right here. Yeah, there it is right there. So I kind of want to encompass the Tree of Life, but it's okay. The wall can't encompass everything. So, I'm thinking that we're going to build a wall right kind of along this um, this wood line right here. I think that'd be best. And since the invasion is coming from this direction, let's build the wall right here. And I've never done this before, so... This is a, a first time, and... We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, I was expecting, like, walls. Like, city city guard walls kind of a thing. That's alright. We can build either a plank wall, a hedge wall, a flimsy fence. You just need something to slow them down, right? This watchtower, guard tower, pen gate. Here is our new person. So let's build a plank wall. I think it'll be the most defensible. Sturdy defensive structure does not contribute to the village's defensive score. Oh, okay. I need it to apply to our defensive score. Perhaps. But I don't think any of them do. Okay. What else can I make then? And some of these turned off here. Stone lantern, that might be fun to build. Wow, okay. There's a lot of this I, I really haven't looked at, obviously, since it's all blinking and glowing and stuff. Metal Collector Parts Beauty Pit. Forgot about that. Stone Cutter's House. Yeah, I was expecting like a stone wall that kind of looks like this. Maybe not made out of stone, but, you know, something a little bit more... sturdy? <laughs> Well, it looks like the plank wall is going to be our best bet for now. So, we're going to have it... Okay. I guess, perhaps, the arrow points in. Because it looks like those little blocks there... I don't know. Well, I'm going to go like this. 
We'll place that down like that. And... Do they overlap? Do they lock in? I guess maybe like this. Okay, we'll build those two first and see what it looks like. So, what do they need? <laughs> maybe I should have looked at that. They need all sorts of hardwood. And nails. Lots of nails. Alright, well... Let's get to work. We got a lot to do. I'm gonna take my sled. I'm gonna go carve up a bunch of. There's my builder. He's wo he's working. Oh, hey, what do you need? Or not builder. Um, craftsman. I need crafting space for wood beam. Uh, I need an axe for carpentry. So you don't have an axe. I need iron bloom and wood chef for crafting. I thought you had iron bloom. Did I not have somebody working here? Hi, what do you need? I need shields. Yeah, I know. I could have swore I had somebody working at the bloomery here. Apparently I don't. So. Ah. Uh, that's right. I'm Nora, you're going to be working here for now. I'm going to set your... your um, your schedule as the 7 to 6. And I'll go get you a, a bed. I did that right, right? Yeah, alright. I don't think there's that many beds in here. There's two beds in here. There's already two people in there. So, I don't like the fact that I can assign people beds when they, the beds don't exist. We really need to get beds built as well. There's two beds in here. Nobody assigned, so there we go. We're going to get one more person coming too. And now, hey, look at that. We have 19 people. We are right back to where we were before winter hit. I didn't like any of those um, options, but for the new person. So I just selected one. I gotta get rid of those berries too here. Berry seeds, rather. There we go. What is that? What, why, what do you need? You gonna talk to me? I need rakes. Ugh. <laughs> I'm going to go get... Oh, you need an axe. Perfect. People are working. It's great. I love it. There's a large crude iron axe. There's a crude iron axe. We'll bring those up like so. There we go. Nice. Love it. People are working. That's great. I'm going to go get more hardwood so we don't run out of things. I'm collecting it all from down here. kind of wish my loggers would come down here and, and do this as well. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they would or not. Uh, I know they don't have the, the iron axe that they need, but their hut doesn't have storage for hardwood. I don't want to do that. I want to pick it up. Thank you. I love hearing all the sounds of production.
Yeah, we'll get you an axe here real soon. I'm hoping. Here's my person that's making it. Well, let me just do it really quick then. I'll do a large axe. One of six. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> we need more iron bloom. I need more uh, iron ore here before too long, too. Hi, what do you need? Need shields. Yeah, I know. I know you need shields, and I'm sorry. And I. Oh, I'm really thirsty. I just noticed that. <laughs> wow, I got so busy doing other things. Like everything is like rolling now. Um. Oh, uh, let's see here. How's the construction of the wall coming along? Let's go take a look at that. I hear people going to the bathroom. That's great. Production is not happening. Not yet, anyway. Oh, well, we got a lot of supplies there. That's great. Keep that rolling. I'm going to drop off some uh, compost as well. Perfect. Now I'm going to go grab my sled. Is my actually is my uh, cart done yet? No, my cart is not done yet. What does it need? It needs just a couple of wooden shafts. Let's see if we can make those really quick. There go. Finish this cart. We'll go to the cave to get more iron ore. Where'd it go? Here it is. Alright. First cart is done. Let's see. Can we haul more? Oh, a lot more. Perfect. Hi. What do you need? You need beetroot for cooking. Yeah, I know. It's one of your recipes that we don't have yet. Oops. I wanted to connect to it. There we go. All right, let's head to the cave, and we'll get more iron ore, so they can keep keep making stuff. All right, here we are at the cave. Oh, it's so dark in here. That new update was talking about um, allowing us to build torches in here, which is great. So I abandoned the one side in favor of doing this side here. We'll drop our cart. I'm so sorry if this is like super dark. We've got our wall right here in front of us. We'll start smacking it. No, I, I want to use this tool. Find the weak spots. There we go. I can't see very well. This is like super dark. Should make a torch. Yeah, we do have another wall here. Okay, I'm full of my inventory. I'll run this back to the cart, which is up the hill here. This is so super dark. Okay, here, here's the cart. I ran right into it. We'll offload this into our cart. All right, we got uh, Age, or Agi, uh, however you pronounce that. He has shown up. He'll be a worker until I can figure out what I'm going to do with him. I think he was one of the ones I wasn't too excited about getting, but uh, it'll serve a purpose in guard duty or, or something. Alright. Let's keep going until we're completely full. We are full. 
Actually, I'm going to drop that. We can get one more, but I'm not going to smack down a wall for one more. We'll just take our cart back. Get out of this dank, dark cave. Okay, here we go. Here is our cart. We get spun around here, hopefully. Try and navigate our way out of here. Get rid of these damn smokers in here. Come on, cart. Gonna try and get up over these these rocks here. There we go. Definitely moving a lot slower uh, with a loaded cart. <laughs> See if we can pick up the pace, run up a hill. Oh, come on, get up there. There we go. <laughs> ah, moving really slow. But we made it. Almost. Let's drop down one of the paths here. There we go. And get it over to the bloomery. Where we can um, have our builder, or our worker, turn it into... Or, oops, Let's see if we can fit. There we go. Perfect. Everybody's coming up to me. Got problems. Looks like we're out of coal as well. Let's see, I'm just going to drop all of this right here along the side I have left. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I know everybody needs everything. Um,. We need coal here, so we need firewood. I'm just going to start chopping these down. All right, we got a lot of firewood in here. We're going to activate it, which we cover it in mud, and then we ignite it, and it'll turn it into uh, coal. And now I need another hammer, so I need to tell this guy to build me one. I'm going to take a drink of water. I'm getting really hungry, too. See, is it on the list? It is not. Add task. I need hammers as well. That's a pickaxe. Where is it? There it is. Create. I'm going to need it sooner rather than later. There we go. Hopefully he is making all sorts of fun, good tools. Come in here and take a look. Yeah, he's got a knife. Do we have a knife? We have a stone knife. I'm going to take that and put that one there. There we go. This is my iron hoe. Right on. We got a uh, rake in there, so the farmer should be happy. Oop, I didn't want that. We got plenty of tools in here, looks like. So hopefully he is making all the right things. And, uh, yeah, oh, here's a, I just noticed this. It's an outfit thing. Right on. I did not know that was there. Speaking of outfits, I could probably take my outfit off. Um, I see other people are still wearing theirs, though, so maybe not. We also need to build outfits for next winter. So, there we go. Let's go check on our wall. Our wall is still, of course, being built. We only got two sections going up so far. And we still need some materials there. Looks like those big planks, or whatever those are called. We'll head back over here and see what the holdup is on that. We also have our new guy that showed up. I'm not going to bring anybody else in for a little bit, only because I need beds. So, he's got materials. He may just need tools. Oh, yeah, he needs a draw knife. Or, he probably has a draw knife. So, yeah, we need these. Let's build that up really quick here. There we go. How about we add that to our cart? Let's go get our cart.
drag our cart over there. <laughs> I'll just keep making these if I... Uh... Oh, you know what? I bet you. I, he doesn't have a assignment for it. Yeah, he does. I wonder why I didn't make him. That's alright. Oh, well, he probably doesn't have a uh, an axe. I think that he needed an axe. <laughs> ah, my workers are just taking him off my cart. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, we'll drag these up there. May not need them now with all my builders just taking them off the off the cart as I was making them. I'm getting really super hungry. That's not good. Hey, look at that. Right on, guys. Good job. I don't have a hammer. <laughs> Ah, uh, there he goes. All right, there it is. Our first wall is up. I don't see those little blocks that were down there. But I, I think we did the right thing. We made it on the right way. So there they go. Building more. Perfect. We'll just continue this on down. We'll go just kind of follow the wood line all the way down. We might cut into the woods there and go all the way down to the water. And we'll kind of circle this up at the same time to the top of this hill way up here. And kind of just enclose this entire little clearing here, this entire little area. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode. In this episode, we covered quite a bit as springtime is going into summer. We are preparing for the invasion. We have walls being put up. We have workers that are working. And we have guards that are guarding. So we can't ask for much more. And uh, things are kind of coming along. Uh, we're becoming a lot more self-sufficient. And yeah. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.